mic. No stress mic dot com. Uh, I wanna I wanna talk about I wanna talk about snowflakes. Uh, it's a a new term for me. Um, and um, I was and I've been trying to figure out up to now I've been kind of calling them crazies because uh, there's not much um, there's no sense behind their actions and their thinking and their attitude um, and you know so kind of come across kind of crazy but but then again uh, as I think about it and I've had a friend bring it to my attention uh, snowflake is the term that they've been using I guess I say I don't watch news I don't uh, I, I keep up with the news but not the traditional way that uh, a snowflake would do it uh, they limit a snowflake would limit uh, their intake on information. And in other words, they listen to the same twisted sources. And they take it as gospel. And then they, uh, they don't evaluate it they um, get emotionally involved. Uh, it's <laughs> in other words, there's not much thought put into this thing, and um, it's what it, and it's not the the snowflake type person is not uh, you would think. Um, uneducated, um, no money, uh, no job, you know, um, worthless, you know, creep. Uh, that would be an easy way to, uh, to think you could find them. But, uh, now I've been in the United States. I've been uh, watching. I, I'm from Oklahoma. Now I'm up in Kansas. Uh, I don't really come into contact personally with these uh, types of people. Uh, and in this part of the United States, uh, we tend to take personal responsibility. And uh, we have morals. And um, uh, we believe in the United States Constitution. And those are uh, three characteristics you're not going to find uh, from a snowflake. And um, the, the thing is, we need to understand uh, these people are out there. And it's not so bad when they damage themselves. You know, that, that's, that's not so bad. I mean, you know, I mean, we don't really want them reproducing. We don't really want them uh, spreading their, their, their corrupt and uh, misguided thinking. So, uh, you know, if they commit suicide or, you know, just... Uh, what do they call it? They just, I don't know. I mean, they're a drain on society. So, you know, so it's, it's not a big loss. Oh, oh man. You mean I say something so, so, uh, uh, unsincere about fellow humans? Yes, I, I, I did. Um, uh, I have no... And I've made videos talking about empathy, empathy, being uh, thoughtful towards others. I am not towards snowflakes, and uh, 
even I have my limits. But, uh, and you can't really, uh, it, it's hard to be politely disagree with them. And it's not hard on my end, it's not hard. Because all you do is you ask them, uh, where did you come up with this strange idea? Or, you know, I mean, not strange, that's probably impolite to say strange, but how do you come up with thinking so weird? Um, that, that's probably not right either. I, I don't know. But anyway, they their thinking is not based on any uh, true factual information. Uh, yeah, they will take some of their information from these scientists that collect money from whatever, and their findings kind of lean towards that. <laughs> you know, what a, what a coincidence. So, uh, you know, so, and they would call this facts. Say, I mean, this is it. They don't, they blindly accept um, facts which aren't factual. They blindly agree with people that don't know anything about that particular subject. And so they blindly support them without thought. They're easily led. And um, as we know, uh, some are easily bought off. <laughs> you know, I mean, a lot of these protesters, uh, these snowflake protesters, are paid for by George Soros. You know, I mean, they, they get paid to protest. They have no idea what it is they're protesting about. They have no um, um, no thoughts about others when they come up with these weird ideas, and and they try to make others do things, and they don't understand why these others won't. They won't do it, you know. And it's the problem. I have all that. I have that all the time. Uh, uh, people trying to make me do something that is immoral or unconstitutional. <laughs> you know, I mean, and I've mentioned it before. Uh, immoral, unconstitutional laws aren't laws. Uh, like I say, we got snowflakes in Washington. <laughs> you know, I mean, they make these laws, and like I say, there's no moral standing, or and they're unconstitutional. So they're not really laws. Even, and I mentioned before, even when I was in the Marines uh, preparing to go fight in Vietnam, it was brought to my attention that we had no, uh, let's see, we, we had no, there wasn't nothing that made us follow immoral, unconstitutional orders. So if we were ordered to do something that we felt was immoral or unconstitutional, we, we weren't uh, um, under the, uh, the responsibility of doing it. Now, I'll admit a lot of people, not so much in the Marines and where I was at, but there are people that they do things and in the back of their minds they realize or they're thinking, man, this is, is not right. You're right. <laughs> and But the education system is set up, especially college, is set up to do things you know are not right. You're still supposed, supposed to do it. I mean, how do you expect to get your degree if you don't do what I tell you to do? But it's wrong. But it's okay. You do it because I told you. So the, the mindset is already started on doing things that are immoral. And it doesn't stop there. It goes to things that are unconstitutional. That's why you have some police that are doing this, the same thing like the, the colleges are doing. They're, they're blindly following orders that are immoral and unconstitutional. 
And so you're going to have these snowflakes everywhere. And uh, uh, Obama really brought them out. It really shook the tree, man. <laughs> man, they, they really come out. They come out thinking that they have equal rights. And we are supposed to respect their equal rights. Okay? That's kind of like... Uh, a criminal, and I've talked, I made videos talking about 10% of the population are bad and they're criminals, and we are supposed to respect them? I don't think so. That's the way snowflake mentality is. And they, with their crappy attitude, they push their immoral, unconstitutional acts on us, and they expect us to accept it. We don't have to accept it. And a matter of fact, we can even be more than that and reject it. And there are times we need to defend ourselves from this type of uh, activity of uh, brainwashing. They try to brainwash us. They try to uh, twist uh, the facts around to make us go a certain direction. That's the, way, that's the way snowflakes are. So we need to be aware of these snowflakes and understand uh, that's what they are. They're a snowflake and when you put them under heat, in other words you ask questions and you really see what it's all about, it's going to melt. They have nothing to stand on other than their warped thinking. But anyway, uh, you're going to be hearing more about the snowflakes. And um, uh, I say that fall, they fall under the things that I teach. Uh, personal health. Snowflakes, you know, a little weird. They don't understand personal health. They sure don't understand uh, personal safety. Like I teach in Hotspot. Uh, so you're going to be hearing more about the snowflakes among us. This is Mike, no stress Mike, dot com.